Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show, but I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program. Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show. But I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program. We'll be right back to the show. But before we do, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Factor Mills. Dot com, where if you go to factormills.com slash unbroken50 and use the code unbroken50, you can get 50% off your first order. That's factormills.com slash unbroken50. If you're like me and you are a person who is busy trying to create a life, heal, work on their health, wealth, and relationships, and not to mention deal with the day-to-days of normal life, you do not have time to be going to the grocery store and trying to figure out what you're going to cook every single day of the week. In fact, one time I did the math and I realized I was spending over 15 hours a week at the grocery store and cooking. When I added factor, I got to use that time for myself, for my family, for my friends, for my community, and for my business. And so if you're in the place where you need some more support in the kitchen, head to factormills.com slash unbroken50 and use the code unbroken50 to get 50% off. Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show, but I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting, and more. I'm starting a wait list for the group right now, and I'm only taking a handful of people. And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program. Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? Hope that you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Uh, Today, I want to talk to you about this idea of momentum and what it really means to create a pathway and a framework to have a life that you want to have. And, and I want to try to make this practical for you today in a way that I can with you consuming this content. And 
I want to do this in a way that I think will be beneficial, uh, especially if you're maybe you're at the beginning of this journey or in the middle or you're deep into it. I think that this still applies. So you're definitely going to want to listen to this episode as I dive into this. Here's what I think about often. Life changes within the scope and framework of small, microscopic, granular, and incremental shifts. What I mean by that is I'm always thinking about how do you move one degree to what's next? How do you shift the pendulum just a little bit to get to where you want to go? And this idea prompted for me the other day because I got invited to be on a very, very big podcast. In fact, it's the number one entrepreneurial podcast uh, on planet Earth, like 100 million downloads. It's unbelievable. And they were like, you need to make a quick bio, short bio. My bio is huge. It's like, it's got to be like a thousand words long. And they're like, it needs to be 200 characters. It's like, cool. So how do you summarize yourself in a tweet, right? Basically is what it was. And I sat down and I wrote, Michael Unbroken is an entrepreneur, award-winning speaker, best-selling author, mentor, coach, and advocate for adult survivors of childhood trauma. And I wrote that and I sent it and it felt really amazing because I look at my life a decade, 11, 12, 15, 20 years from what I thought my life was going to be or who I could be. And it's very much in alignment today with who it is that I want to be. It's alignment with my values. It's alignment with my wants, my needs, my interests. It's in alignment with everything that I want. And, and look, I will tell you this. There are often people who reach out to me and they go, wow, that's incredible. You've had this life. I could never do that. You can do anything. You have to understand this. I am not somehow special. I don't know anything that you don't know. I've never learned anything that you can't learn. I'm not around people you can't be around. And I'm not invested in myself like you can't invest in yourself. That's the truth about it, right? Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? Just want to take a moment and invite you to be my guest at Think Unbroken Conference this November. That's right. Think Unbroken is hosting our Unbroken Con for free. It's five days of trauma transformation information with myself, special guests, and even some of the leading experts in trauma education from around the world. For five days, we're going to jump into what it means to actually take the steps to be Unbroken. All you have to do is register for free at unbrokencon.com. That's U N B R O K E N C O N.com. That's right. Five days of trauma transformation information with me, special guests, and some of the world's leading trauma trained experts for free for five days this November. More details to come. But in the meantime, go to unbrokencon.com to register. And I'll see you there. But this took a long time. And as I'm sitting and I wrote this and I sent it, I thought to myself, yeah, but I used to be this hurt, lost, abused person who didn't love themselves, who was angry at the world, who was pissed off at their parents and their step parents, was pissed off at their family, who was pissed off at society, who blamed everyone except himself. And who, for lack of a better term, and I, I wrote this in my book, I, it was like I was standing in a house that I had set on fire. I was just in self-sabotage, right? Destroying everything around me. And in that, and then when I wrote that and I sat down and I had this understanding and these memories just started to flood through me of all these things that I've done leading up to this moment. And people will look at Think Unbroken or what I've done and think to themselves, man, I can never accomplish that. Look how great Michael is. I literally have people message me this. But here's the truth, guys. The only reason that I'm able to be here and talk to you today and you listen to this podcast and you show up to the events and you do all the things that are part of what my idea and hope of the movement of Think Unbroken is, is twofold. One, because I did it for myself and am doing it and continually doing it. And two, the more important part is that I'm excessively patient. And that's the thing you have to understand about this. Like the roadmap to the life that you want to have is precursed. If that's a word, the precursor for the life that you want to have is, is patience, but it's also doing all the things and celebrating the little wins, the micro victories and going day in and day out and showing up for yourself again and again 
and again. And look, here's the thing that's really fascinating about this journey. The one thing that I've discovered probably more true than really anything else. It's the little small baby shifts along the road that get you to where you want to go. And when you're operating in this place where you're taking into consideration your values first in all of the decisions that you make, you start to understand the power that you have to live life on your terms. See, people often get confused. They're like, I don't know how to live. I don't know how to be who I am, but they've never identified their values. They've never sat down and said, this is who I am and this is what I stand for. And this is who I'm going to try to be to the best of my ability. Now, that's not to say that sometimes you don't get those values interrupted because it happens because we're human. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to have falters. We're going to fall down. Like that's how this works. But in this, the big thing that I want you to think about is that anything, anything is possible. I want you to sit with that for a minute. Anything that you want to have in your life is possible. And a lot of times where you want to go is just one step further from where you're at right now. We all start at the beginning. There's no such thing as an overnight success. No one's ever done anything where suddenly their life was different. It doesn't work that way. Think about getting in shape, right? Think about changing your lifestyle. Think about starting a new job. Everybody sucked at everything the first time they did it. First time you rode a bike, you definitely probably fell down. I think the majority of people do, right? I know some adults who still fall down, right? But that's part of life. You're going to fall down sometimes, but you keep going. And in this process, the measurement for success in your life is, are you willing, are you willing to face the fear of doing the thing that you know in your heart, in your gut, in your soul, in your spirit that you need to do? Most people will not be successful because they will not face the fear. You have to be willing to face this. Worst case scenario, you die. That's the truth of it. That's like the worst case scenario. That's absolute baseline, cannot get worse than this. You die. And then it won't matter anymore. What people are terrified of, and what I was terrified of for a very long time, was ridicule, was shame, was guilt was being judged by people whose opinions don't fucking matter anyway. And more so, judging myself and saying, who do you think you are? Why do you think that you're in this position of not being able to take care of yourself, of being morbidly obese, of drinking yourself to sleep? Because that's what you deserve. I would tell myself this. And so it's a roadblock. It's this mental boundary that is keeping you from success. On the other side of facing your fear is your true potential. One of my biggest fears, and I think David Goggins really put this into words in a way that I think is practical. Maybe not, right? I guess it depends on what you think. He said something along the lines that one of his biggest fears is that one day when he dies, God will pull out this big board and show him all the things that he could have done and that he would have done none of them. Hey, Unbroken Nation, we'll be right back to the show. But I wanted to let you know that you can grab a copy of my first book, Think Unbroken, Understanding and Overcoming Childhood Trauma, for free. If you go to book.thinkunbroken.com, you can download the PDF ebook version of the book and get everything that I know about the baseline of healing trauma for free downloaded to your email right now. Just go to book.thinkunbroken.com to download your copy of Think Unbroken, Understanding and Overcoming Childhood Trauma for a PDF for your phone. Again, that is book.thinkunbroken.com. And what's really fascinating about that is, and, his, and I have these parallels that blow my mind. Before I actually knew of David Goggins, I recall having this memory and having this moment of thinking to myself, I want to face my fears because I don't want to die and have regrets on my deathbed. You guys have been hearing me say that for years. I don't want to have regret. I don't want to fear the what if. I don't want to fear the what if. I would much rather fail. I would much rather everything just blow up in my face and everybody go, I told you so, right? And if they want to, fine, fuck them, whatever. At least I tried. And in that, every single day, you have to understand that fear is a part of your life. 
you may not recognize this, but just eating dinner could be the last time that you take a breath. Getting in your car could be the last time that you see your family. Going to the gym could be the last time that you get the opportunity to move your body. At any given moment, this whole journey's over, guys. At any given moment, you're dead. And you don't get any choice in that. You don't get to control anything except what you get to control. And in that, you must accept what you get to control. A C C E P T. Accept what you get to control. And in that, you get the freedom to let go of the things that you can't. I don't get to control the weather. I don't get to control people's opinions of me. I don't get to control whether or not I get to do whatever that thing is that other people might have the key to. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. That doesn't mean I'm not going to work really hard to make it happen. That doesn't mean I'm not going to write it down in my journal every day and move towards it with ferocious, ferocious, ferocious energy. I don't know where the fuck that came from because that's the reality of it. You have to move with ferocious energy towards the life that you want to have. You're over here scared of people's judgments. You're scared that you're going to hurt somebody's feeling when you tell them the truth. You're scared that you're going to have to actually be able to live up into your potential. And look, facing that fear is going to be the difference between success and failure in your life. Because if you don't face that fear, then you're going to lie on your deathbed. And the bio that you're going to write is going to be the one of an unlived truth. And that unlived truth is going to be all the things that you wish that you could have done, all of the movements you could have made, all the changes you could have created, all the impact you could have had, all the service you could have given to those who needed you. And there's a certain aspect to this where, to be honest with you, I think you're being selfish. I think you're being selfish if you don't face your fears because your voice could be the voice that people need to hear to create change in their life. And I sit with that often, right? And, and, and I'm so grateful and I'm humbled by the fact that people reach out to me every single day and they go, Michael, you changed my life. You saved my life. You helped me be a better person. You helped give me tools that no one else would give me. But if 10 years ago, I wouldn't have made the first step. 12 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, I wouldn't have made the choices and decisions that I made. You wouldn't be listening to this now and I wouldn't be talking to you. I would have never written a book. I would have never spoken on stages, would never got investments from billionaires. I would never do all the things that I've done. But that all started with fear. Sitting down to record a podcast, it starts with fear. Am I going to say the right thing? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Am I going to have food in my teeth? Maybe, maybe not. Is anybody going to listen? Maybe, maybe not. But the truth is I don't care about those things. The only thing that I care about is the fact that I did it that I did the thing that I said I was going to do. And I hold myself accountable to that. And in holding myself accountable to that, even if I don't reach the goal, let me, let me put it like this. My goal, and I just upped one of my goals the other day. I upped one of my goals. It's huge now. It's unbelievable. It used to be I want to help 25 people. And then it was I want to help 2 million people. And today, recently, I started looking at it deeper and I wrote it again. And I wrote it again, and I wrote it again multiple times this week. And now it says, I'm looking at my journal right now. If you can't see me, you can, you can hear this. I helped 25 million people. And I honestly think that's probably too low. It probably needs to be 250 million people, right? And so I'm going to change it to that. Even right now, it's happening in real time. I want to help 250 million people. Do you think I'm going to be able to do that without facing my fears? My fears of standing on stages in front of 10,000 people. My fears of writing the next book, the next podcast, the next thing that I need to do, creating the change in my life. No, and neither will you. Because the hard part about this, the part that people don't want to talk about, the part that people are terrified of is the truth that you not facing your fears means that you're probably letting yourself down that you're going to find yourself on your deathbed wondering what if. And there's nobody who's going to do it for you. I'm going to tell you right now, this podcast isn't going to change your life. Listening to this isn't going to change your life. Reading the book isn't going to change your life. Coming to a seminar isn't going to change your life. None of that shit will. 
The only thing that will change your life is the actions that you make in spite of fear, or even perhaps despite of the fear that you have. While understanding that you must accept A-C-C-E-P-T, that you can only control what you can control and that you cannot control everything. And in that is freedom. And in that freedom is the potential to create momentum. And in that momentum, you have these very microscopic, granular, and incremental one degree shifts that create change in your life. But it starts first with action. It starts with making a choice. It starts with making a decision. It starts with what you think and giving yourself permission to be the person that you're capable of. And in that, you create action. And in those actions on a long enough timeline, again, this word patience, you will have the life that you want to have. So one day when you're sitting down and you're writing your bio, you'll look at it and you'll go, holy shit. It is insane the things that I've accomplished, even though I come from that darkness, even though I come from this place where people don't believe in me, even though I come from not even believing in myself, because I, cho I chose to build it by any means necessary. I chose to show up day in and day out and face my fears and do the hard things. I chose to not listen to the fucking haters. They're going to hate you anyway. Fuck them. Right. But that doesn't mean that one day you won't serve those people. That doesn't mean that one day those people won't go, hey, you know what? I'm sorry I was wrong about you. Thank you for showing up regardless of the dumb shit that I said, right? At the end of the day, your life is in your hands. You have control over this. You can write this beautiful, beautiful story about who you are. But if you're unwilling to face the fear, if you're unwilling to operate within your values, if you're unwilling to stand up for yourself, you will not have the life that you want to have. And look, I wish it were different. I wish I could just hand you the life that you want. But I'm going to tell you right now, as a person who's had to do a tremendous amount of fucking work and who still does day in and day out, the truth about this is the road is not easy. The path is not easy. The journey is not easy. But the destination is worth it. My friends, thank you so much for being here and being a part of the Think Unbroken podcast and the Unbroken Nation and being here and showing up and living your life. I appreciate you. I love you. Have an amazing day, my friends. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and tell a friend. And until next time, my friends, be unbroken. I'll see you. We'll be right back to the show, my friend, but I wanted to let you know about our brand new podcast community for Think Unbroken Podcast. I know that for so many trauma survivors like myself, for the longest time, I felt alone, like nobody got it, nobody understood, and that I was just going to have to figure this out on my own. But that's not true. And the reason why we created our brand new Think Unbroken Academy podcast community is so that we can bring all the members of the Unbroken Nation together in a place where we can learn, grow, heal, change, and transform our trauma into triumph. I would love to have you come and be a part of the brand new community. Just check out thinkunbrokenacademy.com or click the link in the podcast description. And I cannot wait to see you there, my friend. Again, just head over to thinkunbrokenacademy.com. And until then, be unbroken. Thank you so much for listening to Think Unbroken. Please share this episode with someone who could use it and help us move forward in our mission of ending generational trauma in our lifetime. And if you would, please take five seconds to pop on iTunes or Spotify, hit that five star, leave a review, and you can also reach out to us on social at Michael Unbroken or at Think Unbroken. And of course, you can check out our YouTube channel at Think Unbroken. Thank you for being a part of Unbroken Nation, my friends. And until next time, be unbroken. Hey, my friends, we will be right back to the show. But I have a question for you. Are you struggling with the impact of childhood trauma? Well, know that you're not alone. I'm here to let you know that I'm starting a brand new weekly coaching group that includes a year of live coaching, accountability, support, habit and goal setting and more. I'm starting a waitlist for the group right now and I'm only taking a handful of people. 
And I'll let you know that through this personalized coaching, we'll work together to help you understand how your childhood trauma has shaped your beliefs, behaviors, emotions, and will help you create a roadmap for healing and growth. Right now, you can schedule an absolutely free coaching session with me and get put on the wait list if you go to thinkunbroken.com. My friends, it's your time to turn your trauma into triumph, breakdowns into breakthroughs, and become the hero of your own story. And I'm here to support you in doing that. Just go to thinkunbroken.com to register for a free coaching call with me and to get put on the wait list for the brand new weekly coaching program.